Good morning, Persimmon Grove, and happy Thursday. I hope that you've had a good week. And as we continue our devotions today, I want to focus in in continuing what we talked about on Tuesday. We looked at the Lord's Prayer specifically um, and talked you know, through that. And now coming into the, the latter part of that verse, coming out of Matthew 6, there's a specific piece of the Lord's Prayer that maybe we skip over or miss or really don't gather uh, what the Lord is trying to say to us here. And that's when he says, your kingdom come. What does that mean for us? Understanding that we are living in the, the present tense of the kingdom coming to us, but understanding what we are living for. And we have to ask the question, as we have so many times, you know, what is our focus? What are we what are we moving towards? What are we living for? Ultimately, that question is answered right here in understanding that our grace that we've been given through Jesus Christ is for his kingdom work. So everything we do, whether it be our witnessing, whether it be going to church, whether it be listening to these devotions, um, is for one reason, one reason alone, and that's the Lord's kingdom. And that it would come to us and that it lives within us and that one day we would have that eternal state with him. So today, very simply, my, my challenge is, and really the devotion, is knowing that one of the sweetest, most precious things that Jesus gave us in his grace is understanding that one day all of this will pass. Um, but not only the temporal things that we see on this earth, but all of sin, all of corruption, the many things that we are facing today will pass so that we can join in um, that kingdom with the Lord Jesus Christ um, and that, that final resurrection as we know. So today, as we think about this this verse, when we think about the, the Lord's Prayer, let us be reminded that we are blessed not to, to live out our own will, but for the Lord's kingdom and that we would continue his will as well. Um, let's uh, go to the Lord in prayer and I hope that everyone has a happy Thursday. Father, we come to you today. We thank you, Lord, for this time. Lord, we just ask that you would uh, be with us throughout this day. Lord, just bless those that have watched this. Um, and Father, we just lift up our church to you and we lift up all those that um, may be struggling in this time, in this pandemic, and Lord, those that may be wondering, you know, what is there to live for? What is my my purpose? What is my hope? And Father, you've given us that answer, Lord, in your Son, Jesus Christ. Father, we ask all these things in his name we pray. Amen. All right, I hope that everybody has a good day, and we'll talk soon.